with the pintail we've created a soft plastic you know twitch bait I still don't know quite what you meant to call them but when I want to twitch something around I want to fish something very deliberately like this I'll turn to the pintail I it's kind of almost the the sort of unsung one of the three. Now, the paddle tail is obvious. You know what a paddle tail is going to do. The pulse tail still amazes me with how different it is to the paddle tail. And then this pintail is my my twitch bait. And look, if you read my stuff, if you watch any of the stuff I do, if you obsess about lure fishing for bass like I do, you will know that I love having options. This is how I would fish the pintail in its most basic form. This is how we kind of started it, how we designed it to be fished. And then obviously you can modify from there. This is the regular size pintail and the 6.0 weedless hook. And this is how simple it is to rig. Take that corkscrew, which is attached to the front of the lure, put that pin into the middle of the front, screw it on like you might screw a corkscrew into a wine bottle, go up flush to the eye of the hook and then you will notice on the belly of the lure there's a hole that is very deliberately there to marry up with this 6-0 hook. So put the point of the hook through that hole and then it will naturally come up and out and inside that weedless slot and then that is the pintail simply rigged. On the 120 pintail especially you fish it without the belly weight put a weight spike in the back end of the lure if you want to keep it really shallow still but you need a little bit of extra distance into a breeze that becomes a missile oh my god you can fish a lure like this in a variety of different ways i'll tend to fish the gravity stick pintail in a couple of specific ways obviously you can whack it out wind it in but if I was going to do that, I'd probably turn to something like the pulse tail or the paddle tail. This thing, the pintail, I tend to want to move. I kind of want to twitch it, twitch, 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 pause, so it drops like a dying fish. Or I'll put a deliberate S-curve on it, which I'll show you how to do. Very, very simple. And I will generally, look, depending how much grip, how much distance I want, I will fish this lure both with and without the belly weight without the belly weight like I've got it rigged now I will tend to fish it that little bit slower and more deliberately see it's very little movements to really get that thing dancing and for a lure with no extra weight on it it's surprisingly kind of grippy the way it sits underneath the surface I'll tend to use the belly weighted hooks when I want a bit more distance or a bit more grip or there's a faster current and on the 120 the smaller size pintail especially when you put that 2 gram 4.0 weedless hook on like I got here honestly it is almost ridiculous how well that thing casts. So this is another rigging option. Again, it's incredibly simple. I've got the smaller gravity stick, the newer 120 size, and I've got the weedless hook that goes with it. But note that hook has got a belly weight. It's a two gram belly weight. Again, if you want a bit of extra grip, kind of keel in the water and a bit of extra distance, use the hook with the belly weight. And I really, really like 
the gravity stick 120 with this two gram belly weight hook we do. Again just screw the lure on, look for that hole in the underside of the belly, come in through that, up through the weedless slot and basically it's perfectly rigged every time, you can't go wrong. That lure now is a little missile. The other way I mentioned about fishing these pintails is when you put an S-curve on it. When you like reel four, five, six times fast, that lure S-curves through the water, stop it, and then it just drifts, sinks like that, S-curve it again, and do that kind of retrieve. And again, I'll do that with, without the belly weight, let it settle, bang, fast. Like that, let him drop. 